We are heartened by your display of composure, order, and discipline during various matches, which occurred at the weekend without any public violence. Meetings with His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mgabe, have gone on in an atmosphere of mutual respect and several guarantees have been made. As your Defense and Security Services, we remain seized with the operation codenamed Operation Restore Legacy. We are confident to take our beloved country out of its present circumstances and set it on the desired de development trajectory. Following the address to the nation by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces last night, we have made further consultation with the President to agree on a roadmap on the prevailing situation in the country. The Zimbabwe Defense and Security Services are encouraged by new developments which include conduct between the President and the former Vice President Comrade Emerson Dambuzom Nangagwa, who is expected in the country shortly. Thereafter, the nation will be advised on the outcome of talks between the two. In the meantime, His Excellency and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Ara Jim Gabe, has started processes towards a definitive solution and roadmap for the country. As this happens, we as the Zimbabwe Defense and Security Services urge Zimbabweans to remain calm and patient fully observing and respecting the laws of the country for the sustenance of the precious peace we should never lose. The Zimbabwe Defense and Security Services further urge other political players, including members of the ruling ZAN-PF, the veterans of the liberation struggle, opposition groups, students, and generality of our people to refrain from any actions or activities that would threaten the peace, life, and property. Students at the country's various institutions are encouraged to become and, and to proceed with their educational programs. As scheduled, they need to remember that one day of education lost is difficult to recover. Once again, as the Zimbabwe Defense and Security Services, we pay particular tribute to all Zimbabweans for the regard and support shown to us during the execution of Operation Restore Legacy. We remain a people's force and security services, which is why Uppermost on our mind is the conclusion of this war operation with the minimum inconvenience and certainly without any collateral loss of life, injury, or destruction of property. Your defense and security services will keep you informed of any new developments as they occur. Okay.